Polygon just partnered with Facebook. Hey guys, what's going on? Jeb here, and in today's video, we are going to be bringing you an update on some major adoption stories and the price action of one of your favorite cryptocurrencies, Polygon. It's ranked number 18 right now and is up 5% in the last 24 hours. These integrations and these partnerships that we're about to talk about are huge. Some of the biggest names in tech and in smartphones have just announced a partnership with Polygon and Ethereum through the NFT ecosystem. And all of this could lead to massive appreciation on Polygon's price action when the bull market resumes. If you are anywhere near Polygon or even thinking about investing in it as it is on a massive drop from all-time high during this correction, then this may be the time in history for you to do just that. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. But without much further ado, let's go ahead and dive right on into it. Polygon is currently trading at 50 cents, down from an all-time high of nearly $3, which means it has retraced exorbitantly from its all-time high, similarly to the rest of the cryptocurrency space, indicating that it is in a potentially very powerful buying zone. As you may know, it rests on top of the Ethereum blockchain and helps with some of Ethereum's scalability concerns, but if Ethereum does manage to get 2.0 rolled out and overcome some of its scaling issues, some of its gas fee issues, and some of its transaction concerns, Polygon is not really going to be needed to help solve those problems anymore. So Polygon is going to need to find usage somewhere else. And that's where Facebook comes in because Facebook has just begun testing an Ethereum and Polygon NFT project for profiles. If deployed widely, users will be able to connect their cryptocurrency wallets to their Facebook profiles. Meta, formerly known as Facebook, has begun rolling out NFTs for some U.S. creators on its flagship social media platform. Meta project manager Navdeep Singh shared a sneak peek of what NFTs will look like on Facebook in a Twitter post Wednesday. According to the post, users will have digital collectibles tabs on their Facebook profiles where they can showcase their NFTs, which are unique blockchain tokens that signify ownerships. The tweet shown here represents exactly what this would look like. As you can see, you would be able to share your digital collectibles and even have an entire gallery of them on your Facebook profile. This is big for a massive number of reasons. First and foremost, it means that we are seeing Facebook still, to this day, despite their trouble, the largest social media platform on the entire planet with 2 billion users, adopting a part of the cryptocurrency industry called the NFT space. That is massive for the adoption, the acceptance, and the spread of cryptocurrencies at large. But it's also huge for Polygon because they would be doing this with Polygon's help being built on Ethereum for Ethereum NFTs. In short, Polygon is being contracted to build the software that Facebook would be using to interact with Ethereum-based NFTs. That's huge and would lead to massive price appreciation in Polygon in the next couple of years as the bull market resumes. Maybe not during the bear market, but certainly as the bull market resumes. Now, another big announcement that came out yesterday on the 4th of July is this. Mass adoption of Web3 will happen on mobile and Polygon is preparing for it. Our strategy is not to make our own devices, <clears throat> Solana. Instead, we will integrate with existing manufacturers, which sounds like an actually successful strategy. Today, we are proud to announce the first major integration onwards. Fire emoji. Can't have a powerful announcement without a fire emoji after all. As you can see from this finance.yahoo.com article, HTC is launching a metaverse phone with Ethereum and Polygon support. And obviously all of that goes right back into the market capitalization of Ethereum and Polygon. Now let's take a look at Polygon's price because as you may expect, its price has not done a lot in the last three months bullish, but in the last couple of days it has. In the last three months, we've generally been in a broadening, descending trading channel, as you can see right here. And we also have a massive inverse head and shoulders pattern forming. Now it's not a very clean inverse head and shoulders pattern, but it is an inverse head and shoulders pattern. If that inverse head and shoulders pattern were to play out, that would lead Polygon all the way back up to $1.20, which is actually a historically significant level because we sat around $1.20 to $1.30 as a low back during all of this time during the bull market of 2021 and the very, very beginning of 2022 here on Polygon. But the thing to keep in mind is that over the last couple of days, we've seen quite a bit of appreciation on Polygon from its low down here around $0.41 cents, all the way to where it's sitting right now at 49 and a local high set just a few hours ago of 53 cents. In essence, in four days, almost five days, we saw a 30% movement to the upside. That is incredibly 
bullish. Short-term price action-wise, if we take a look at Lux Algo, luckily Lux Algo has actually gone into a buy signal, and we've been in that buy signal ever since the 23rd of June. We've also seen confirmed trend catcher, as you can see right here, and if we do manage to continue moving anywhere above, I'd say, 45 cents, we will probably maintain this buy signal, and that could indicate some slightly upward movement on Polygon. All in all, the short-term technical analysis is not all that important or interesting to me because I'm looking at Polygon as a long-term investment considering all of these partnerships and deals that it is undergoing right now. If these deals go through because, uh, well, the HTC deal has gone through, but if we see the Facebook deal go through, that would be huge for the price action of Polygon in the future. But for right now, it doesn't make much of a difference in the short-term technical. So if you're looking at investing in Polygon, this is who this video is talking to. And right now, I think is actually a very good uh, time to be looking to do that. If you're looking to short-term trade, understand that resistance around 60 cents is likely to hold fast. And I wouldn't get too excited about trying to break through that just now because this downtrend is likely going to hold firm. If you enjoyed today's video and you're excited about the future of Polygon, then let me know in the comment section down below. And also make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Make sure to sign up for Lux Algo because as you can see, it gives phenomenal buy signals. And also don't forget to sign up for Club DeFi where you can learn everything that you need to know about trading, investing, and most importantly, profiting in the cryptocurrency space with a community of like-minded cryptocurrency comrades. You can find the link for Club DeFi in the link in the description box down below. Before I go, I do just first want to thank each and every single last one of you for watching, as always, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Holy cow, you're at the end of the video. You're one of the good ones. I give you a thumbs up. If you want to give us a thumbs up, make sure uh, you do that. And if you're not subscribed, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, if you really want extra bonus points, you can comment what you think down below. That's all we got. See you next time.